Hello everybody, welcome to Lee Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Lee Wine TV. I'm Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. All right, so onward from more samples from my friends at Creative Palette. So <clears throat> we're going to Germany now. And um, so I've got a couple of Rieslings here. Um, I'm pretty sure I should do it in this order because um, that's how they put it in the, in the email. So let's just get right into it. So this is the Nick Weiss St. Urban's Hof uh, Riesling. And uh, uh, this is from Old Vines, a state bottled. Uh, this area is in the Mosul. So it's a town called um, Leiven. Leiven? Did I get it right? Uh, boom. Yes, L-E-I-W-E-N or, or Leiven. Um, so it's in the Mosul. It's a little bit farther south. Uh, Drive-wise, drive, drive -wise is about 30-ish minutes south of where I was staying in Valen, which is across from Dr. Lostan and where Dr. Tanish is uh, in the middle of Mosul, um, south of Peace Porter also, as far as the river is concerned. So, uh, and I believe both of these are around $16, just to double check, 18. So, suggested so retail price of both of these is $18. So, let's get right into this one here. Um, yeah, it's a regular cork. Got a screw cap on this one, so I'm excited to use my screw cap thing because I haven't used it in a little bit. So, um, I don't know much about this winery. Uh, he's been around since the late 60s. They have a website, but there's really nothing on the website. Um, but uh, it looks like they practice at least sustainable farming and practices in the winery. They don't talk about necessarily... Um, organic or um, uh, organic or or biodynamic uh, the um, the information I had from them uh, says uh, about being a member of fair in green and I'll just kind of I'll just kind of uh, read off to it it's, uh, this is what Nick says um, for me fair fair and green is the modern alternative to existing sustainability environmental and eco audits my own motto is con natura no invic invicum, no, no invicum, yes. Uh, that is with nature and not against it. Yeah, with nature, not against it, okay. Uh, for me, it is self-evident that great wines can only be produced and the viticulture-related cultural landscape can only be preserved for future, for future generations if work is done with nature and its environment and not against it. Um, so far, this Corporate philosophy has not been communicated externally with an audit label or membership in an association. With Fair and Green, this is now happening, and in my opinion, according to the best and holistic manner. Fair and Green does not only commit to the protection of the environment and the sustainable management, but also includes fair social, societal, and cultural interactions. This means taking sustainability one step further ahead. Maybe I should... I'm not going to, on camera, look all that up. Uh, if I find a link for Fair and Green, I'll put it in the notes below. Um, but, was, but the whole thing about working with nature, not against it, I've heard this over the past couple years from people, you know, work with nature, don't try to work against it um, as a philosophy. So they may not be members of Fair and Green, but I, I've, I've talked with some winemakers uh, that kind of have that similar philosophy. All right, so let's get into this Riesling. Um, it doesn't say dry or, or not. This one says dry. So let's see if I can, see if I can read uh, and this is did I, did I, oh, 2018. Both these are 18s. 11% alcohol. Um, so it shouldn't be sweet, sweet, but it might have a touch of residual sugar. So let's check it out. Mm. 
not a whole lot on the nose, which sometimes happens with me with white wines, especially. Um, these are not cold by any means. I mean, they're, they, I pulled them out of the cellar, but they've been out for that entire first, um, the entire Prosecco uh, review, plus probably a good 10, 15 minutes prior to that. So they've had plenty of time to warm up to a closer to normal serving temperature. It's probably, they're probably technically a little too warm. But I get <clears throat> kind of a, a bready uh, nose to it. Kind of waxy more. Um, some light hints of fruit. I mean, it just smells like a, you know, a, I won't use the word basic, but just like a, you know, just like a, smells like a white wine, but nothing like exciting yet. So I bet on the palate, it'll taste, it, I, probably a lot of stuff will come out. So definitely not dry, but somewhat off dry. Kind of what, when I went to Germany, um, they like to call it a fruity style. So, but it's not even that. It's like in between off dry, fruity, and dry. 11% uh, alcohol. Um, acidity's definitely high on it. Um, the fruit is there. Um, it's, it's very fruit cup like, you know, peaches, um, mangoes, nectarine, orange. Uh, not quite a lot of lemon in that, but maybe even apple, you know, kind of like, you know, like that fruit cup, like with like the juice in it, like, like almost like the syrupy stuff, somewhat like that, you know, your, you know, that fruit cup as a kid. Super refreshing, light, again, not overly sweet. It's more about the, the condition of the fruit having that sweetness. The acid's really high. Mouth is really watering. Whatever residual sugar is in there is helping balance that acidity, um, but mouth is really watering. Um, and there's, 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 a, there's a, an appearance of sweetness. Um, it's probably got a decent amount of residual sugar in it, but <clears throat> not, not like super high residual sugar. Um, it's really pleasant. Um, $18, I think, is more than fair for uh, this Riesling. I mean, I've had Rieslings that taste similar, that are cheaper, some that taste more expensive. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a Riesling that is young, um, really refreshing. If there's one thing I learned about going to Germany this year is re when Riesling ages, it is incredible. Um, besides tasting a ton of vintage Riesling in Germany, uh, over the past few months, I've also bought some aged Riesling from Psalm Select. And um, I've cracked some of those bottles open for my, for my Psalm group that I'm in uh, as bonus wines or, or as wines we use for, uh, for tasting. And it's just been incredible to taste these Rieslings that are 10, 15, 20 years old. Um, it's like a night and day difference. I mean, right now these are 18s, are they're, they're totally fresh, really easy to drink, really vibrant. Um, and I guarantee you, even though these are not quite, you know, high-end Rieslings, Guarantee you, these things could age for 10 years, no problem. Or at least this one. I don't know about that one yet, but this one for sure. All right. Let's get on with the next one. Got my, I don't know which screw cap I need to use. So let's get in this one. I like that reason a lot. Excited to try that at another day. All right. Cool. I chose wisely. <clears throat> All right, so this one is the 2018 Nick Weiss St. Urban's Hoff um, Mosul Riesling Dry. Uh, also suggested retail price is $18. Um, just 1% higher on the alcohol at 12%. This is 11%. Uh, see if there's anything else on the back here to talk about it. Not really. Uh, also, just make note, uh, they are part of the VDP. So that's one of the quality... That's the, you know, the organization that does quality wine. All right. I do have a backup for the Coravin as far as if I run out of gas. This one looks super light. It almost looks like platinum in the, in the, in the glass here. 
All right. Boom. If you haven't seen my uh, my um, reviews of the Corving cap, you should check it out. Um, especially when you look at the, there it goes, it just popped. I knew it was about to. Um, which I, thank you, Corvin. They sent me a new unit. I've used it at home just like for, for drinking. Uh, I've used it on the podcast. No leaks yet. So brand new unit. Um, so thank you so much for sending me a replacement unit after all, all the pro issues I had uh, with the other one. Uh, anyway, check it out because the screw cap, um, especially with a high acid wine, um, I, I went five and a half months on that one bottle. That was, that was the Gruner. Um, I mean, three months is the design limit for these, and it was perfect for three months. So definitely check it out. I'm not saying it's going to take me five months to drink this. It's not. I'm probably going to finish it this week, along with that Prosecco, because, you know, it's that, well, that, that clamp keeps it fresh for a decent amount of time. I'm going to have to drink it. I haven't had a runny nose like for days and all of a sudden it's like a little runny. So like the first one, it's fairly close on the nose. I don't get a whole lot. Um, I don't get as much of the waxy character and the bready character as I did on the first one. Um, it's very, very light peach as far as the um, uh, fruit. I think I solved the problem with Filmic Pro, though I did stop between these two things. So I'm gonna keep it going on this one. I have to say I prefer this one better. Um, this is still really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. But I like the dryness of this one. I mean, it's only 1% alcohol difference. But the dryness is is like, it's like <clears throat> night and day. Um, I still get the fruit. Um, it's not as much as that, that fruit cup with the syrup in it. It's more like the fruit itself. Um, I even feel like I get some strawberry in this one. Um, which is a little unusual to to say I get strawberry out of it. But yeah, um, it's really like the peach is very prominent. The orange is very prominent. Um, tangerine. Um, touch of like apple in there, um, like green apple. Okay, because um, it's very, it's in, and the fruit's tart. <clears throat> Whereas with this one, the fruit was sweet, not necessarily ripe, but sweet. This is tart fruit. It's like, yeah, especially like a green apple, underripe orange, underripe tangerine, underripe peach. Um, it's really refreshing. Uh, I really enjoy this one. I, I, I prefer, I prefer it over, <clears throat> over this one. I like them both. I would crush either one, no problem. But yeah, the dry one, super nice. So if you see this out and about, either one of them, definitely buy it. All right, so that's gonna do it for um, this episode. As always, click the links above to friend me up. I uh, click the links below um, for information about the winery. I'll try to find the stuff about the fair and green stuff. Hit the donate button over here. Actually, the, the links are on this side, aren't they? Um, <clears throat> hit the donate button over here. Uh, send me some ducats, and uh, we'll see everyone again next time.